multilingual bug fix. Another free lesson to help you become a better coder. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your continued support helps make these videos possible. And as always, I thank you all for watching this video. Alright, good morning. Alright, let me show you uh, uh, the issues that we're having with the uh, multilingual. Uh, Let's see, uh, so, uh, yeah, what happened here? Um, let's see, do you have to delete a second language every time you test it? This erases, of course, every time all the language is made, um, except the default. I think I reply. Mm. Um, I reply say here. That's not in there. It's in the bottom here. Uh, right here. So I apply. No, you don't have to do anything. Uh, you don't. You only have to do. You only have to add the form, the control information. For the forms and the sub form all right well i went back and uh, detected it he said um, he said that the second language does not get updated so um so when i went back i saw the problem i saw the problem so i now say i'll update the video to address the issues so here it is here it is Let's take a look at the issue, and then we are going to um, solve this uh, issue. Uh, let's go to the um, folder. Uh, I am going to, um, yeah, we need to repeat this uh, implementation here. And then um, and show you the issues, and then we we'll, we are going to uh, correct the problem. All right, so let's go here and grab the latest module, copy, and pop back, and we're gonna paste right here. Um, so let's name it the same thing: implementing multilingual. Uh, update. All right, we're gonna update the code. All right, let's go in there. Uh, let's grab. Yeah, let's uh, let's go grab our uh, multilingual modules. Right there it is, module 5, yep, select that dude. Alright, let's select um, everything on this uh, tab. We need a query. We need these uh, three forms. And we need everything but the automation. Oops. I uh, think that we got everybody. That's good. That's good. All right, let's continue. Um, I'm not going to uh, um, well, let's see. Let's see. Currently, we have two languages. Yeah. So that's that. And if we make this, uh, if we make this a uh, 
select the text and you can see how these populated all right so I'm going to revert back to uh, English all right let's add the um, let's add the activity like we did last video so I'm going to open that up that is search um, this one right here activity project add it on it's complete and then the description all right so let's go to the default language and we'll go ahead and uh, add the uh, form information copy that guy we're just going to redo what we did in the last video and then we're going to take a look at the issues all right, and this is form activity. Now we're going to add the controls. Just going to grab this guy right here and the first control. Copy. that to the bottom there um, activity uh, got one too many eyes there that looks right activity all right and we got how many controls do we have we have one two three four we're not gonna do the delete five six seven eight and nine controls let's uh, make nine controls copy that's one two three four five six seven eight and nine and the first control is search add new edit safe activity project added on is complete and the description so let's do the first one this is search search the second one is cmd um, add new oops add new this one is edit edit this next one is safe cmd safe this next one is um, lbl activity ah. next one is uh, project this next one is uh, added on this next one is complete LBL is complete
and this last one is description safe all right so let's take a look at the issues here all right now last time we last video we didn't run into uh, an issue because because I went ahead and delete this uh, uh, language Thai language and pre-populate it and add a new language so that was not an issue the issue is that we don't want to delete the second language all right you will have to add a new one in add a new form because that defeats the purpose because if you if you take a look and if we delete that we're gonna have to come back in here and, and make you know adjustment to these names and all that okay so now let's update the control all right when we update the control this uh, English version We'll have three forms, all right? We'll have activity, add, language, and form. And then, and then the controls, all right? And the tie will not do anything, all right? So, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. But let's take a look. Good. So we got the uh, form activity. But take a look at this. What the heck is this? Where's that coming from? All right, the activity does not have subform with this is the uh, form language that should have been in this guy. See there? It went ahead and grabbed those guys and added to this. That's the issues. That's the problem. You see that? You see what I'm seeing there? This should not belong to here. See this. Uh, this guy right here, the 31, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33 should not be in here. All right, should not be in here. Okay. Uh, now this control, the nine controls, which is right, see, search, add, edit, which is added. These are right, complete in description. But this 30, 31, 32, 33, that should not belong to there. And that came from way over here. All right that came from way over here but what it did check this out what it did look 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 at Thai it replaced the it replaced the um, the language form all right and put it in the English language put uh, put it in put it in here all right and the rest are gone you see there, we missed we missed all the language for the uh, for the tie. It messed it up. Well, that has to do with the um, explicitly adding the ID. All right, the ID of the form is overwritten. Overwritten. Uh, this ID right here all right so this so this guy say hey we're gonna use this and increment this guy you see there and increment this guy and in increment this guy well well that's all and dandy if you just if you just uh, if you just want to delete the language and recreate it every time if you then you add a language, it's going to automatically add this guy in there. And here is the problem, though. This is the problem. This control name because we explicitly say, "Hey, you are you are this." See right there. These are no good. All right. These are no good. So let's fix this. We're gonna get rid of all bunch of these things right here. Uh, we don't need them. Get rid of those. We're gonna redo the whole thing, alright? 
and and we cannot erase here but we're going to define it in here and it's not a list as object name oops as object name all right now we're going this is the issue right here and we don't need to do this because it's not a list it is no more a list we just want to do that and then we're going to get rid of a bunch of these things right here okay so um so we can do that i am going to um i'm going to put that one in my clipboard copy that and highlight this control F you see there control F and then we're gonna replace this mass replace and then we're gonna put that in there so that thing is highlighted we're gonna replace that find that and replace with this and then make sure this module is selected and let's go replace there are 20 of them in this one you see that that's good perfect all right i'm gonna move that out now now um i am going to um highlight this and uh control f you can control f replace replace with empty so I'm just going to remove that all right so make sure that is selected and that guy will be disappeared okay so replace that's gone all right I'm going to do same with this guy I'm going to copy that copy put that in here and then replace with the blank one gone all right so that's good that's good um and we don't have this um we don't have this guy you see here we're going to take that out okay what we really want to do here is this i'm going to show you we need to take this guy out as well see this guy right here that's the problem right there what is uh, as a matter of fact, let me show you. We're going to do a mass update too here. Highlight this. Control F again. Replace with empty. All right, replace. So we're going to take that out. Take that out. Replace. There's three of them. That's right. There's three controls. All right. So now what we need to do, I'm just going to streamline this guy down a little bit here. Make it look a little pretty. Uh, right here I'm gonna make a little pretty um, what needs to happen here is that we need to add these right away all right individually because when you say new here all right it grabs a new ID already and we don't need to do it again we don't need to explicitly do it otherwise we're gonna have we're gonna run into a problem all right so that's what we're gonna need to do right here just like this uh, and this guy right here, I'm just going to take this uh, list out like so. Take that out and take the list out just like that. All right, because we got this guy right here. Similarly, we got to do this one too. All right, so as soon as we do this, as soon as we create this, we want to we want to say, hey, if you don't exist, add new one. All right, that way they're going to keep adding and adding and adding, and if they already exist, we don't need to worry about it. All right, we don't need to worry about it. All right, once it's added, once it's added, we want to do this. We want to do the second one right here. Copy. 
one of, uh, let's see, once it's added, so once it's added, I'll go ahead and copy this guy right here, copy and put it under here, that's the second one, and here, that's the third one, alright, we want to save, once we save, once we save, alright, so we got rid of this one and right here I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that one all right get rid of that one we are going to do it right here let me show you let me show you uh, I'm gonna change that to this name right here okay Let's change that to that name and we don't need to do this portion I'm gonna show you why all right it's going to be like that and from here we want to do this so once we save that we want to say call set up this guy and pass in the parameter which is O object name uh, ID object name ID see it's asked for object name ID and and the object name object name just like that you see there just like that all right so let's copy this and put right behind this guy now the reason why we want to uh, put this outside here is because if it exists we will still want to use this object if it exists if it's not exists we want to save it and we want to use it anyways okay so that's how that's going to work now we got to tweak this guy right here let's tweak this guy these right here we got to add the object Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to rename this guy right here. Nope, that's alright. I'm going to, yeah, we're going to need to do this. We we'll call object uh, control name as object control name. Just like that, alright? I'm going to copy this guy and um, and highlight this guy highlight that guy mass update replace with this guy see there so we're going to replace these object name control list blah 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 with this object right here all right so let's replace 192 192 all right um that's that and then exit this out we this is the problem right here so we need to clear out the problem we don't need this guy all right we don't need this guy so there's a whole bunch of them here we don't need this guy because we don't want to explicitly tell it to do it all right so so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, highlight that control F again replace this time we're gonna replace empty we're gonna remove that guy all right remove that guy so replace there's 28 of them okay that's gone that is gone now we need to uh, uh, we also need to remove this guy right here so I'm gonna highlight that control F replace empty replace empty that's good right there let's click replace all there's 29 of them that's gone 
So that's what we need to do. All right. Now, I'm going to uh, kind of dress this up nicely. Now, what we need to do, you see this one? I left this guy right here. We're going to copy this guy. Copy. Get rid of that. We don't need it. All right. Now, come back to here. Put it right behind here. So we need to uh, add this guy in succession. All right. We're going to add this guy in succession. All right. So right here, this is the object ID right here. That's the, uh, yeah. That's the object ID right there. So we're going to take this guy out. Bap, 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 bap. Uh, I. And this is the object. As a matter of fact. This guy is this object name. Uh, we can we can still we can use this guy because we set it right here, right? We set it right there So we can use this guy actually we need to update this one too See there we use this object yeah, Right there there and then same thing here I'm gonna put it right there And then I'm gonna put this guy right there, just like that, just like that. Oh yeah, right here too. Uh, right there. All right, so we do the same thing here. If this guy don't exist, add it. Otherwise, don't do anything, and we continue down. All right. Suppose this language control is already exists, we don't need to add it. All right, we'll go to the next one. So here you can add as many, you can update your, your form with a bunch of these guys, just like so, all right? Um, let's go to the next one. We're gonna take that out, put that one there. There. All right, let's add to this one. Uh, and then we need to do the bottom one. We're just gonna continue like this because we gotta add this in succession. Uh, this, like I said, this has to do with the with the um, control um, object control name ID because when we create new here, it grabs a new ID, and if we explicitly type in, then it's going to collide. It's going to update what's already in there. And we don't want to do that, and that's what happened to the uh, form. Um, uh, the uh, what is it? The uh, language form for the second language. So, but this will prevent that from happening. Uh, and this would be oh yeah, this is on the bottom of this guy, like so. So, uh, just keep it going like so. Once you set, you save, set, save, set. 
save. We're almost done. And then the last one. Now we got activity. We'll go ahead and set this one, and then we'll go, uh, and then we're gonna re repeat the the, uh, the. We're gonna run it. Set right here. Save right there. All right, so so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to um, comment out this last one right here. All right, we're not gonna worry about the last one like that, and and we are going to delete the second language. Let me show you what we're gonna do. We are going to delete this guy. We want to. Make sure that um, we repeat the uh, error. All right. Once we repeat the error, we can see what's going on. Then we need to remove this activity as well. So let's go to the object name activity. Delete that as well. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna add the second language. See that's that was removed. Okay. We're gonna add the second language. TH, THI, and then we're gonna make this guy a no. Alright, so this should bring us back to the original how we first came in here. Alright, so we should have two forms here. That's good. And we should have two forms here. Just like we had it. Okay, so see how it automatically does it exactly the same way all right even though we made a whole lot of changes here but it only it only updated to where we were last time all right so now the question is that if we when we add this uh, form right here all right when we add this form will will it will it error out Will, will it error out all right so if we say update the English will have three forms the Thai will still have two forms and then we're just gonna update this one later all right so let's update uh, okay that's all right that's all right we're missing this guy right here B added as bullying that's all right no harm done here let's see do we have uh bullying here yeah right here as well so let's go ahead and uh add it as bullying save all right let's continue what will we let's continue done that's good that's without glitch other than that the uh, uh, edit the uh, variable so let's take a look we've got three forms see there and that's good that's what we want all right now will the Thai language mess up again all right we should have only two we should have only two forms here that did not that did not touch it you see there that's good that is very good that is very good right there Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to uh, delete the, I'm going to uh, delete this uh, uh, object name again. 
this guy right here. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna show you that um, I also wanna delete this guy. So we got language, we got this guy, all right? So now, we're gonna have two forms, all right? We are gonna modify this guy right here. Let's modify this guy. This one says add language here. Um, yeah, we're gonna, gonna change my keyboard. Obviously, when we add the second language, we don't want to mess up. We don't want to delete or mess, mess it up. So uh, let's call this uh, perm, uh, perm term. I think I, uh, there. And we're gonna leave the ID right there. Uh, I think this one is called um, Chill Sun. Chiu Yao uh, This one is Chai Pa Sa Oops by nhục lực all right so if we click this guy well let's make this guy uh, let's make this guy uh, select it first if we add language here this form right here We'll have this guy. Let's see if that does. Look at that. Nice. Nice. All right, let's cancel. So now, if we add the, if we add the uh, activity, all right, if we con click con update control right here, it should not mess up the, uh, the tie. All right, so let's update. That's good. Let's take a look at the tie. That's still there. That's still there. You see there? You see that? That's how that works. That is how that works. Um, yeah. So now the question is, when we update this guy, we want to add the controls to this one as well so if you look at the English right here you see there it add the uh, form activity but it did not add it didn't add it to the uh, to the uh, Thai language all right so let's fix that we're gonna update this guy so to do that we need to go to language now we need to go to language all right what we need to do here is we need to uh, change the keyboard back to English. We need to uh, add um, a subroutine called update control. Update update object controls. Yeah, there you go. That's that sounds good. Update object controls like that. All right. And I'll go ahead and add this uh, error handler because uh, you just never know. You might get an issue here. So let's grab this guy, copy. And then we're gonna, gonna copy that guy and put this guy right here. All right. So here's what we need to do. We need to 
grab all the languages other than the uh, other than the um, the default. All right. So we're gonna do this. Uh, dim rs as record set, and then we're just gonna say, hey, close queue, close connection, empty record set. And then we're going to say uh, set rs equals current db open record set and here we say select everybody from language um, where language no nope, where is default equals zero when it's not default all right so that's what we want. We want everybody by the default, all right? Because we just up added the we just added the default. Now let's copy that guy, pop back to the default, and here. So we add the default. We update all these guys right here, set name and all that. And after that, we want to say update object controls. You see there? Now we're gonna go. In here in this function subroutine which is this guy and update everybody all right all the uh, everybody other than the um, the default then we'll say if rs record count is greater than zero then just like that all right now we we'll say um, uh, what we need here we need to pass in this language right here all right we need to pass in this language so instead of setting the instead of setting the um, uh, an object here here's what it will do here's what we do uh, language as language we just say this if language db access exists see this is an easy way to uh, to set up the uh, language rs language id and then all language see that that's easy then do this as a matter of fact then do this copy that we're just gonna do one line right here then call add you see there if it exists go ahead and do this for me that's what it says all right and that's all we need to do oh whoa whoa, whoa. hold on just a second ah oh <laughs> I forgot one thing here we gotta iterate through this um whoo almost almost forgot we need to iterate through this guy do uh, do while or s uh, while not or s in the file all right we, we gotta do this my bad loop and then in here we'll say or s move next forgot about this one so we gotta keep going right here see that so we're gonna loop to each language say if we have 15 languages we're gonna loop to 15 times and then every every time we come in here, we'll say, okay, go update this guy. All right, go update this guy, which is the same as add. Now we need to fix the add language uh, here. Okay. Um, this is the same way here. This is the same way. Let me show you what what needs to happen here. Um, we're gonna have to tweak this a little bit here. All right, gonna have to tweak this a little bit here. See if you notice here, I'm gonna copy this guy. See right here. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna copy this guy. Just like that. Copy both of those guys because it has to happen the same way. It has to happen the same way. So I'm gonna come in there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go right behind this guy right here. 
instead of saying object safe right here we don't know we don't want to save it if it's already there you see so what we need to do here I want to do that all right I want to do that so we'll say if object name not exist you see there not exist if object name not exist all right and this language is do -do 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 -do. it's all language this is the old language this is this language right here the language that we're passing in all right this language right here so if that guy doesn't exist with this object name that we set with this object name that we set all right which is a default one okay see that's a default one that's a default all right do this for me do this for me then we'll add this so now the add uh, let's see the add then happens right here and now we want to say I'm going to take this out because we already save in here you see there we already save in there see this is the same thing so we're going to take this out see how we're doing this at, at the at the end here we're going to yeah I put that there so I know that we're going to do this outside from here so let me uh let me take this out like so so this is what we we'll do, we'll do and then we'll say set this guy I'll go ahead and delete this one now see there so that's what we'll do so once we if it if it exists we'll continue you might have the same form but the controls might be different you see but now if this guy don't exist save otherwise continue with this one all right now this guy right here this guy right here um, should be the um, yeah should be the same as the object names here so that's fine right there that's fine and dandy all right that's fine and dandy now we we'll say if we have records we want to do this all right and here again and here again I'm going to come back here I want to copy this guy right here I just want to copy this guy right here this is the control copy I'm close that once we set before we save we want to do this see there we want to say um, if this guy doesn't exist all right this meaning this guy right here I'm going to copy that as a matter of fact I, I can just copy this guy control name here because it's essentially the same thing and then put it right there and then control name all right then save this guy save the control name so if you already exist save the control name all right so I'm going to take that out now now that we have the same thing so that's what's going to happen that's how it's going to work all right so this guy uh, as a matter of fact let me show you here so this object name right here we need to take this out because that's the problem right there all right so we can just take that out we don't need it there 
and we don't need it here either. Remember that object name is a problem. Uh, the ID rather. So that looks good right there. So we iterate through all the default items and we'll say, okay, for this language, which is the language that we're passing in, all right, this language. For this language and this control name, the form name, does it exist? If not, add it for me. Otherwise, let's continue. What about the controls? All right, what about the controls? So this control, all right, this control is the control of um, it's the control of this guy now. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this guy because this control may exist or may not exist. You see, so I'm gonna put that right there. And um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna revert that back. That is the control for this uh, default. My bad. So yeah, we're looking for the controls for the default now. Yep, that's right. My bad. And then we just go loop through, and we're gonna say, okay. Um. Oh, what happened to our uh, control name? My uh, control name ID here. Did, did we uh? Yeah, we need to get the control name ID, this guy right here. So we need to say, um, uh, let me revert back. I think, yeah, right there. Uh, let me revert back that guy. Okay, all right. Okay, so the name ID, yeah, yeah, Contri control name ID, yeah, we don't need this. We're gonna take it out. Got it. And we're gonna take this out too. And that's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. All right. Um, so this will be reference to this guy. All right, so that's uh, that looks right right there, mister. Let's see if we are going to uh, get any issues here. All right, it looks good to me. Okay, so let me uh, let me go start from the beginning here. So we're gonna call this guy after we update all defaults. And it's gonna come in here and say, hey, get me everybody except the not except the default. And then we'll say, all right, if you exist, meaning the language exists, call this guy, all right, and then we'll pass in the object, language object. And then in here, in here, we're basically doing the same thing, except using the default right here. We're basically doing the same thing as this guy right here. Let me show you this right here, all right, see? We just repeat this guy Except we're not setting anything other than the new, the new one. All right, see that? That looks exactly the same thing there. And then once we're done there, once we're done with this one, we do the controls. These are the controls. All right, these are the controls. And the controls on this one, in the default, see, we call this guy. Right there, that's the control. So here's the same. It comes in here. It happens the same way. So that's how that works. All right. So this is how that works. Um, so in this one, we just iterate through. Same thing here, and continue down. All right. I'm just gonna scroll down so that you can see what you need to update. 
I'm gonna start right there. Start right there. Set that guy either way through. Alright. Add the form information if you don't exist. And then you will grab the subforms. No, the subform, the controls. And start doing that. And then when we validate if you don't exist, add me. Alright. So that's that. Alright, let's uh let's go back. Let's update this one now. Um, remember the Thai only had two languages. And the English has got three. See there? So if we click this one, the English will not change. That will stay because it already exists. But, but, it's going to call the update controls function. Alright? Let me show you. Again, I know I have to flip back and forth here because I want you to understand. See this right here. So when we call this guy, when we're done with this one, that's not going to change anything. But this is where it's going to update the other languages. Alright? That's where it's going to update the other languages. Okay? So let's, uh, let's go ahead and click update. Okay. Um, object name. Okay. Um, so the update is not right. Maybe I missed something there. I get it. I will have to go through all the controls in the default. All right. So what happened to the uh, tie? It shouldn't do anything. Oh, it added. This guy is still there, this guy is still there, that's good, but it did not add the controls for this guy. Alright, so let's go let's go to here and delete that again. Uh, this guy right here, that's language number two. Alright, let's delete that. Um, it has to do with, we don't know, but... Uh, no, not that one. This guy. So, that means it did this portion, but it did not do this portion. Um, okay. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe I grabbed the wrong one. Maybe this guy copy needs to be updated right here as well. All right. So if it already exists, that means we're gonna grab this guy now. I think that's that's the problem right there. Yeah. I think that's the problem right there. Let's go update it again. You see why I did that? Let me revert back. See there. Now we want to say, hey, go get the controls for these item. All right. For this item because we just added okay because we just added so let's do that let's paste yeah, yeah like that save all right let's um let's see if it box at us again we're gonna flip to english flip to thai there should be two forms good we're gonna update again ah uh, uh okay. So that means that guy is not well it's there. We saw that it's there. Let's go see this guy. We know it's there it added. See that that form is added. Let me see the name. Number six, which is fine. That's what we want. Three, three for that. Three for this. Six. That's good. But the question is, did not add the control, so we have to look at the control again. So that was not it. 
uh, I'm for sure this uh, this is the uh, this is this guy right here yeah this is this guy right here I'm gonna revert back to that guy because that's the right way all right so those are the controls now Oh, I noticed something here. This guy does not have... Oh, you know what? I just see something here. The object name ID. I think we took that out. I think we took that out. Uh, we are missing this guy right here, mister. We're missing this guy, that's why it says require. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, we're missing. I think I accidentally took this guy out right here. We are missing that one. And that's why I said this object name was required. Alright, let's try that again. C Control S, save. And um, let's, uh, let's delete that guy again. The no language number two, we're going to delete that activity again, alright, refresh, should have two on, good, alright let's try it again, see we got two there, and three here, this one does not affect because it already exists, it's going to bypass, alright, but this is the one that we're looking for, we need it to add the form activity with the controls. All right, let's update. Nice. So that's good. Well, I don't know if it's nice. Let's take a look at the uh, tie. Look at that. That's what we want. That's the reason why we yeah, uh, we didn't have the good, we didn't have have the uh, object name ID. See there. Good. I like that. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. So now let's do another test. We are going to delete these two guys. All right. Delete. That means it should revert back to where we were at the beginning. All right. So Thai's got two languages. See there, and this also did not does not affect. You see that this guy is still there, and this is how we first arrive. We look at this, they were like this. All right. Now, if we say update, we'll add the activity here and here. Let's do it. Bam. Nice. See that it add the activity here and also activity there all right how about the form um, at language that's still there you see there that's still there so now let's uh, I'm going to update this guy pick out the Thai keyboard um, Konha Pum -tum. แก้ไข บันทึก...
All right. So that will be all uh, activity here form. So let's make this uh, Thai language a a display one. Close that out. Let's take a look at the form. Uh, before we do that, before we do that, the two places that we need to update. Let's go to the form uh, language. Looking for a language. This guy right here. Go to the unload. Um, refresh right here. This guy right here. Refresh. We are. Yeah, the unload. I'm going to change that back to pub, uh, private. Oops. Give me back my English. Uh, we want this guy right here copy that copy and then go to the activity go to unload and then right behind that dude right there paste that one in there there's one more more place the main the main Go to the main right here on load put it right there safe all right now this may not work because we have not added anything to it so I'm going to just gonna comment that out all right safe um, right there let's take a look at the uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to add the... I'm going to add this guy. This con, uh, control. Alright. So bear with me here. Where's my language? Okay, we're going to add this guy right here. This is the header. I'm going to massage this guy just a little bit here. Move that guy over there. Matter of fact, right about there. Because ties a little long. So we got profile, we got header, and we got this guy. Alright? So let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's add eight controls for main navigation. Alright? So this will work with the main navigation as well. It's getting a little lengthy, but it's alright. So right here, I'm going to copy, I'm going to show you that this will work now. <laughs> Alright, so this form is form main navigation. And then uh, this one is called um, project management. Alright, and now let's go add this uh, controls. I'm gonna go to the bottom here and just grab the first set copy we're moving along by the way no glitch yet no glitch oh yeah that's right right there no glitch which is good which is good um, this would be main main navigation all right and this will be the header lbl header Ooh. and the control is project management all right um i think we got how many more we have so we got this guy we need one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We need seven of them. So let's go back here and copy this guy seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, let's get control name. I'm going to grab this first one. This is easy because it's the ID is just increment one two three four copy this is my profile this is profile and it's my profile as display so let's go to the second one 
Here is the second one. Uh, it's a command profile my profile that's the command um, yep that's the command uh, now the next one is that guy and this is the calendar and this one this one is a project but it's number two this is number three what is number three task or activity I think it's activity uh, let me take a look yep calendar project activity task timesheet calendar project activity next one is task this is number four this next one uh, this is number five this is timesheet and this last one number six administration administration good we're done all right let's go update it I'll go ahead and close this main control out uh, we're gonna add update and it should add to both of these guys all right which this guy should have main navigation and ties should also have main navigation all right so let's update Good. Now let's go to tie. Do we have main navigation? Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Let's add a couple of these guys. Um, I'm going to change this to a tie keyboard. And this is the, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, let's, let's uh, write การควบคุมควบคุมโครงการ I think that's I think that's right I think that's right and this is my profile we're gonna make it uh, uh, profile uh, Hi. Um, don't laugh at me now. <laughs> Get check, um, this is uh, not he. This is uh, the long villa. This one is uh, um, this is also not he Kong or not. All right, so um, so we got that marked as a uh, tie, and let's exit this out. Let's open up. Hold on. And let's go to the uh, main navigation. We're gonna turn on the uh, the one that we commented out right here. See there. All right. Let's uncomment that. Save. Let's take a look now. Let's take a look now. Main navigation open. Look at that. Look at that. See there. Look at this. 
Nice. That is without glitch. That is without glitch. All right, let's log in. We got we got this guy in oh, we got this this thing in Thai now. Uh, good. All right, I'm interested in this one right here, Kichigam. Ooh, edit, edit. Oh, LBL edit. Ah, see, yep. So let's fix that. Let's fix that. Now you can now. Once these things happen, you cannot fix it on the, uh, you cannot hit the control, all right? But what we need to do here, we need to fix this one. We need to fix the default. Um, let's take a look at it again. You know what? Let's take a look at it again. Because I, I want you to uh, see this one. When I click this guy, it says, hey, I don't see the label edit that you are referring to on this on this activity form meaning this guy is misspelled all right so what we need to do we need to fix this guy in the back end uh, activity activity right here activity see right here we need to fix it here but we cannot use the language form to update because it would add a new one and that one will still be there all right as a matter of fact you know what as a matter of fact um well you don't want to do that because it's going to add extra all right it's going to add the cmd edit it's going to add this guy and then the l the lbl edit is still there all right so yeah you don't want to leave that hanging all right so what we need to do here it just go back to the form here and find out which one it is and we're just gonna kind of we're just gonna update it there uh, we're looking for not this one right here the control we want to look for how about equals LBL um, edit yeah this guy right here so that's for <clears throat> CMD and here's another one CMD one of these guy is the is for the uh, default language and one is for Thai all right so that's all we have to do just make that an edit now let's bring this back up you see how that thing is not showing See, it says edit. All right, let's move to a different place. Come back in. Look at that. Nice. No glitch. No. So there, it didn't bark at us now. So that's how you fix it. All right. So let's see if we can do this. Look at that. One, two. Good. Pump them. Cancel. Cancel is no glug. But remember, that's a share button. We got to fix that before we can do that. Gagai. Nice. Nice. Ooh, let's add this guy in there too while we add it. Shall we? Uh, it's going to get too long. Uh, now I'll go ahead and add this one. Alright. Uh, so if we click update, it should just update it. Alright. We can just add anything now without without issues. Um, this is main navigate. No, this is on the edit. on the edit right there I'm gonna add three of these guys so I'm gonna scroll up a little bit here one two as a matter of fact I'm just grab one and just type and paste three times copy one two three all right this first one one two three this first one um, is label um, date and then add it by an activity type date and we'll call it date 
the second one is added by and then this one is called um, what is it I had a yeah activity type activity type activity type now don't forget it's a sub form see there you gotta make sure you have it this guy in there otherwise it's not gonna work now I'm just gonna copy this guy copy there there safe good one more thing we need to go into this sub form and make sure these names are correct all right so uh, I'm gonna move away minimize that guy and look for the S activity right here S form activity this should be LBL date LBL date this should be LBL added by and this should be LBL activity type This type there. See there? Good. All right. Save. Close. Now open up the language. We're gonna update it, and it should just work now. All right. Just click this guy. Bam. We're done. You see there? The activity. Ooh. What happened to the sub form name? Wait a minute. Uh, we don't have the sub form name. Ah, the you see there, we set it here. We we eh, see there. Ah, eh. uh, well, sometimes that happens. You know, we gotta take that out. <laughs> you see there, gotta take that out. See this sub form name. You set it and you erase it. Uh, save. All right. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. But we gotta we gotta delete the uh, we gotta delete the uh, the controls. Let's see how we're gonna delete the controls. Uh, there were three controls. This is going to be a whole bunch of slew here. A whole bunch of slew here. Uh, the control is. Hmm. Hold on. No. We don't know where they are. The control is activity. Activity five and six, five and six, activity five and six. Let's see if we can find activity five and six. Not activity, but the object name five and six. So we're gonna say equals five first. Looking for, looking for five first, five. Those are the ones, all right? See this last one, these last items. We gotta take these out. All right. And then, and then, let's change this uh, to six. All right. We gotta take this last one, last three out. That's for tie. All right. We should be. We should be back to uh, as before. All right. See, we delete these guys out. All right. We also delete this guy out. See there? They're all gone. 
All right, let's update. That's better. Good. How about the English? Uh, how about the Thai? Look at that. Let's update this guy. I'm gonna change this back to Thai. It's getting lengthy, but you know what? It's uh, yeah. Um. Uh, anyways, one T. Um. Uh, this one is. This one is perm doi. And this one is. This is a. Uh, uh, This one is uh, um, I think that's how you spell it. All right, let's uh, let's close this guy out and let's take a look at this one. Get you come, look at that. See there? One T perm doi prepared get you come. Good. That's how you do it, Mister. It took a little while, but. Uh, Thai, that's why you couldn't find it. But if that was you were uh, in Lao, uh, in the uh, Thai, that you would find it. Everything's just as good. All right. So, uh, anyways, but that's how you do it. All right. That's how you change your your stuff. And I showed you this over and over again. All right. Just to make sure that you really understand what I'm talking about. All right. There you have it. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.